The accused serial killer connected to the Stockton and Bay Area communities, 43-year-old Wesley Brownlee, has been arrested a week after police released surveillance video of a possible suspect. Our investigative reporter, Brooks Jarose, has been digging into the suspect's background and criminal history. And Brooks joins us now live from the newsroom with the details. Brooks. Well, Julie, I've learned this accused serial killer lost his brother to gun violence in Oakland, and records show Wesley Brownlee has faced several drug-related charges. He was even arrested for sexual assault as a teenager. And court documents give us a glimpse into Brownlee's family life and his mental state. Wesley Brownlee was caught with a mask and gun Saturday. Stockton police say he was searching for an eighth victim. He was on a mission to kill. He was out hunting. The alleged serial killer is accused of taking six lives. Five men shot dead in Stockton, one in Oakland, and linked to another Stockton shooting where a woman survived. The suspect's reign of terror in our community has come to an end. Court records shed light on Brownlee's life, one of his mother's six children. He was born in San Francisco, but grew up in Oakland on Seminary Avenue, just blocks from where victim Miguel Vasquez Serrano was gunned down last year, leaving the family distraught. Whoever did it doesn't know how painful this is and how painful this is for my mom. Brownlee's criminal history dates back decades. In 1994, at age 14, he was accused of sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl along with two other boys. Later that year, records show he sold cocaine to an undercover officer. Then in 1995, his brother Dale Brownlee was shot and killed. A probation report says Wesley became depressed and distressed. His mother said she wanted him in therapy and also said he's mentally slow and learning disabled. Brownlee never graduated high school and was suspended once for gambling. In 1997, he was arrested and charged for having a large amount of crack cocaine. He was 18 and sentenced to two years in prison. Once he was out, Brownlee was living with his mother in Stockton. But in 2014, he was accused again in Alameda County of selling crack cocaine, this time on East 16th Street and right near where his brother was killed nearly two decades earlier. He pleaded no contest, served some jail time and three years probation. It would be a few years later when the killings began. Investigators say all of the victims are linked through ballistics and based on tips and surveillance video, police say Brownlee is responsible, claiming he was armed and ready to do it again. We are sure we stopped another killing. Brownlee is in San Joaquin County Jail. He has not yet been charged. He is expected to be in court to face murder charges tomorrow. In the newsroom, Brooks to Rose, KTVU Fox 2 News. Yeah, a lot of people breathing a lot easier knowing that a suspect is in custody. Has there been any type of statement, Brooks, from the family? No statement that we've been made aware of, but what police have said is that Brownlee randomly targeted each of these victims. All right, uh, we're waiting to learn more. Brooks to Rose in the newsroom for us tonight. Thank you.